Italian people, and especially young people who are, are generally more conversant with the digital video cameras and the means of uh, making digital video. Uh, in the United States, after current TV launch, almost all of the other news and information networks began to adjust by reaching out and saying, send us video, send us uh, your own uh, uh, television. But it, it is hard for them because uh, we have organized ourselves from the very start, for more than five years now, with a team of young people who understand the web and who understand digital television and who understand how to connect the two. And we, we are passionate about this mission. Uh, I truly believe that democracy is facing a crisis around the world because this passivity in the face of propagandistic information strategies by governments and elites to uh, shape public opinion in a very uh, sophisticated and organized way with the, is uh, hurting democracy. And television uh, that is received passively can have, have a quasi-hypnotic effect. People just uh, fall. I, I don't want to overdo the, uh, the, the idea of people falling into a quasi-trance, but if you uh, watch children sometimes who have been watching television for a long time, you just uh, see that uh, there is a certain uh, mood that overtakes them. And I think that's true for people of all ages. And I think it's true for societies. And the way to break that spell and to put life back into the, the conversation of democracy is to break down the barriers and, and provide a way for the people themselves to have a voice and to express themselves on television. One other point, Professor, because we're in a university, there is a German philosopher in the Frankfurt School, Professor Jürgen Habermas, who has written about the structural transformation of the public sphere, the public forum. And starting decades ago, pointed out how because of the mass media, electronic media particularly, the ubiquitous uh, use of uh, advertising, the corporate space within which public conversations take place has been, in his phrase, re-feudalized. Re and the feudal structure, of course, was the concentration of political and economic power in the hands of a few, with the masses uh, uh, not actively shaping their own destiny. And I don't want to make too much of this, but I do believe that uh, uh, Habermas has a, a very important point. And I think that we, the people, have the, the ability to shape our own destiny. And the most powerful tool since the invention of the printing press is the internet. And if the internet is kept free of domination by governments or monopolies, then it will continue to empower individuals to speak up and use the power of ideas and knowledge to breathe life back into democracy. That is the mission of current TV.